So moving on to the 90s, I think this came out. This is a Surdy Micro System. Um, this is a manual machine or manual tool which can also do multi angle heads primarily motorbikes or 16 valve four cylinder type heads uh, this cuts uh, 90 degrees to the face cylinder head face or popular angles of uh, 30 and 20 uh, so this was made by the French company Surdy in the 90s. It uses uh, a multi-head, multi-angle uh, seat cutter on a floating head. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, let's get it out of the box and see how it would fit to, say, the mini head. I suppose primarily not really... Um, the same kind of cost these were a lot more expensive than the new way cutters and it mounts to the head so you can mount it to a, an iron or an aluminium head and it can cut three angle seats at the same time let's get out of the box and pop it on this mini head and see how it cuts seats so this is the Surdy micro system set up so you've got a, a ball head, which when you unlock, it can change the angle in relation to the head uh, of where the pilot is going through the valve guide. And not only can it move this way, it also slides on a flat plane as well. And then it's locked in position. And the cutting head is mounted on a pilot which goes in the guide the pilot is then used just for reference but the actual cutting head is supported on this frame that bolts to the head so you need to line these up to suit holes that are in existence on the head to hold it down and then it's bolted rigidly to the head so this uses what some people recognize as the standard sort of um, cutter that Surdy make these days so it's got three, I don't know if you can see those three cutting angles. It's actually a, a slight radius on the top, which is a 30, and then there's a 45 degree seat, and then there's a 60 degree throat cut. And this is a thirty part. Uh, these Pilots are a bit pitted, but that's how it was when I got it. Um, but you've got a much more accurate um, system to hold the head, so you're not relying on the size of the pilot so much. So to set the pilot, I uh, set the cutter to suit the valve. It then comes with a tool like this, and what you do, you pop the valve in there and then you line up this point with the edge of the valve and then once you've set it you pop the cutting head in and line up where the seat is with the point that you've set so it becomes quite a bit more involved for setting up, but accuracy is usually much better. So let's give it a go. Let's see how it cuts the uh, exhaust seat on this mini head. So that's bolted to the head. So I've got three bolts. These are the three feet, which you can adjust to match up with holes that you've got on your head. Um, this is the locking ring. Let's just back that off. That gives you the ability to move it around and find the center. 
and then lock it off like that. Let's see how that cuts the seat. This is a, a ring that dictates how high up the cutter is, so you're controlling the depth of the cutter with that. Let's get it down to where the seat is. Okay, let's take that off and have a look. So, with the cutting head removed, and get close up with the light, you can see that we've got a three angle seat it's just starting to cut a 30 on the top, but we've got a much more polished, that's the seat that the new way cut, so it's quite dull, whereas this is quite shiny and precise. Probably needs lapping in as well, but what we've got then is a much higher flowing seat because we've made the seat quite narrow. Uh, with the sort of top and bottom cut, we're getting a lot more flow past the seat, whereas you can see the single angle seat is not so good. This is much more precise. So yeah, the advantage of this type of machine or tool is that it's quite portable. It just comes in a case and it will do lots of different machines or machinery, engines, quite precisely down to very small valves. I think this will go down to a 16 or 18 mil valve. Doesn't need any air or electricity so yeah it's very portable and adjustable takes a bit of time to set up but you can see from the results they're pretty good okay that's another valve seat cutting video thanks for watching